There you are! What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gate! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alfin, right! Great to have you back! Now let's do this! Sharp people, if we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right, we need to hurry. Remember, if the paint's too much, we've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come. We can't let even a single one through. There's a bird, no Zuko policy. Fine by me. Let's get to work then. You okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. You know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Family, home, they took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awaken, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bombs with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting.
But Xion comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xion, then we defeat Volron and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Fissilum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. ahead we should prepare well before we venture forth <sighs> by the way how is mahavar doing uh <sighs> wait don't tell me we still haven't found him it's not like we haven't been looking i've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast but all of the other crew members are accounted for including us but we weren't able to find mahavar He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. And if the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise. We've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Let's get going. I'm in good form. I'll crush any enemy with my mace. Awesome! We've got an avatar of destruction here! Truly, she leaves naught but rubble in her wake. Are you guys asking to be her next target? Thistleim was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even though we're Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was? They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not. Xion's our friend. Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renin. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides... The situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <clears throat> It's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. 
You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? I can feel my power growing! It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Here's the no. I'll smack I'll you! I'll stop its charge! Thanks, Kisara! In a vine? Throwing light spear! If they wreck you, you gotta Dragon just recover, floor. okay? Eat this one's all mine! You picked the wrong fight! You see this coming? Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah. I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. 
We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renin like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the Maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori, then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones. So deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned, but if you don't rest when you can, you're going to regret it. She's right. We need our rest to conserve our strength. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, you two. No problem. We'll save Xion. I know we will. Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. I 
I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantation. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my art. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear foes! Thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. I don't know what to do. Things can't go on like this. What do you mean? Ah! Oh, it's you, Rinwell. You were talking about me, weren't you? No, I wasn't. I've just been thinking about some things. Really? How unusual. Cut it out. I'm being serious here. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about... You know how I used to work for Ganabelt back when I was in Cislodia? Yeah, of course. You were brought in after the Snake Eyes killed your friends, right? I mean, you had to. Right. I used to have nightmares about it when I fell asleep. But lately, that's been happening a lot less. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a good thing, isn't it? You should be happy. Yeah, but... <sighs> I did a lot of terrible things back then. And I'm scared I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, so let me just get all of this straight. You think you'll forget everything if you stop having those nightmares? Why? Because, uh, you know me, I'm freaking stupid. But it sure doesn't sound to me like you've forgotten. Well, yeah, but still. I don't think those nightmares going away means you've forgotten. Maybe it's a sign that you've come to terms with what you did. Come to terms? You mean like Alfin with his past? You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're pretty amazing, Law. I am? Yeah. Not all of us have figured out how to accept our past. Least of all, me. Rinwell. <sighs> 